Tonight, new charges in the murder of Melissa Jubain, the Beaverton nurse who went missing earlier this month. This as her suspected killer makes his third court appearance. At 11 o'clock, I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola and Bryce Schubert pleading not guilty to new charges late this afternoon. Ariel Yakabazi was in that Washington County courtroom with the latest. Tense moments as some of Melissa's friends sat in the back of the courtroom today to hear some of those updated charges. The only person not in court was Bryce Schubert, making this his second virtual court appearance in the last two weeks. A full house of people hoping to catch a glimpse of Melissa Jubain's accused killer. State of Oregon versus Bryce Jonathan Schubert, 24 CR 46624. The suspect, Bryce Schubert, not physically showing up after he was expected to be at the top of the list of defendants in the Washington County courtroom today. Judge Rebecca Guptill asking if Schubert will make an appearance. I have a very full courtroom here, so if there's any way we can get that done earlier rather than later, that would be much appreciated. After three other defendants in three separate cases were called, Schubert finally popping up on a screen behind a cell door at the Washington County Jail. Mr. Schubert, are you able to hear us? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I heard him say yes, ma'am. Mr. Scholl. Schubert's attorney, Gregory Scholl, entered a not guilty plea on behalf of Schubert. Judge Guptill quickly granting it. Schubert now faces a first degree murder charge, a first degree kidnapping charge, and a second degree abuse of a corpse charge. While the details of what happened to Melissa are still sealed, the news of the horrific crime are something many don't want to focus on. She was there to embrace the woes of the world. I sat right in front of Melissa's friends in court today who tell me they don't know what to say in light of this new charge. I want to focus on the beautiful person Melissa was and the love and light that she brought to this world. But at Melissa's vigil last week, friends and colleagues remembering her during her very best moments. She was bubbly, she was passionate, and she was knowledgeable, and she was so encouraging. I immediately felt this sense of ease, and I knew that we were going to be forever friends. Naturally, Melissa's death has been very hard on her friends and family. As for Schubert, his next court appearance is October 15th at 1.30 p.m. I did try to chat with his attorney, Mr. Scholl, outside of the courtroom today. He said he has no comment. Reporting in Hillsboro tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News.